Good morning, this is Dr. Rajkumar Arya, Associate Professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering and IT Jalandhar. Today I am going to explain how to model the CSTRs with variable holdups. So if we see the CSTRs with variables holdup, they will look like by this actually. So in this case, uh, you have a feed which you are charging with a concentration F0 or CA0 to a reactor which is volume is B1 and reaction constant is K1. The product of this F1 and concentration CA1 is being charged to the another reactor having volume B2 and rate constant uh, K2. Then this product is again being charged F2 CA2 for a reactor 3 and if the product is being withdrawn F3 and CA0. So in this case uh, in this case we we are considering here the first order reactions in each of the reactor first. Second part we are considering density we are considering constant throughout the system actually uh, second part we are considering each reactor is perfectly mixed actually so in order to develop the equations and temperature in each reactor is must be is assumed to be constant whatever temperature here it is constant in this side reactor this side reactor have some other temperature but it is being constant so reactor in each reactant reactor temperature is constant so F is volumetric flow rate meter cube per minute and uh, let's say molar concentration mole per minute so if you say the total mass balance in each reactors so mass inside the reactor here the volume into density so this rho v1 upon dt mass coming in rho into F0 going out is rho into F1 so density we have considered as constant so dv1 upon dt equal to F0 minus F1 same way we can write for reactor 2 d rho v2 upon dt equal to rho F1 minus rho F2 equal to dv2 upon dt F1 minus F2 then rho v3 upon dt rho f2 minus rho f3 db3 upon dt equal to f2 minus f3 so these are from mass balance then now we can write component balance for each of the reactor so for reactor one if you say here so rate of accumulation of component a inside the reactor rate of a coming in so f0 ca0 going out F1 CA1 consumed it B1 K1 CA1 same way for reactor 2 DCA2 B2 upon DT is accumulations of A inside the reactor then F1 CA1 is coming into the reactor F2 CA2 is going out from the reactor B2 K2 CA2 is consumed due to the reaction third reactor we have the dca3 b3 rate of accumulations f2 ca2 rate of a coming in total mass then f3 ca3 is going out b3 k3 ca3 is rate of a consumed now k1 k2 k3 are rate constants can be calculated from arranging equations by taking this Kn equal to K0 exponential minus E of 1 RT1 so N equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 reactor numbers and time constant can be calculated by V by F into minutes so F0 and CA0 are the initial conditions which we need to solve these equations total are 6 equations and uh, and these are the six variables we have CA1, CA2, CA3, B1, V2, V3. But to solve them you need here F1, F2, F3. 
so these will be uh, these would be three things which will come from an uh, controllers actually so control ball will tell you the label control how to control the labels the balls and therefore you can control this flow so f1 would be a function of v1 f2 would be a function of v2 f3 would be a function of b3 so you have three label control equations which will provide f1 f2 f3 once you have this you can solve these six equations that equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 4 5 and 6 these can be solved and you will get all your six variables to to be solved in this particular equation problem actually so this is all about the modeling of CSTRs with variable holdup. Thank you.